Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I've got another tag video. See, I told you I was going to work my way through the tags, slowly but surely. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> this tag is called 10 Luxury Perfumes I Can't Live Without. And it was created by Creme de la Creme and I was tagged by the wonderful Sabina in Apple City. So thank you so much Sabina for tagging me. Right, let's get started. Okay, so the first two fragrances which I absolutely adore comes from Elizabeth Arden. And the first one is this one, the Green Tea Lotus. Now this is a really, really lovely floral, citrusy, light fragrance which I love to use especially during the spring and summer months and it contains notes of cherry blossom, yuzu, plum and also uh, Japanese citrus. It's just really really light and um, refreshing and the second one is the classic Fifth Avenue. Now I think this one is uh, really a very sophisticated fragrance and it's one that really you can use throughout the whole year and it contains, uh, the top note contains lilac, linden blossom, magnolia, mandarin and the heart notes include Bulgarian pink violet, ylang ylang jasmine, Indian tuberose, peach, carnation and nutmeg and the base notes contain amber, Tibetan musk, sandalwood, iris and vanilla. So it's definitely a stronger fragrance than the green tea lotus but it's not too heavy it's just really sexy and sophisticated and I really love using it throughout the year. Now the next one is one of my all-time favorites and it is from Dior and it's the Eau Svelte, okay. Uh, this is actually called, it's a body treatment fragrance, okay. Unfortunately, it was discontinued. I honestly don't know why Dior discontinued it, but it is such a beautiful, beautiful fragrance very light floral and fruity and it's one that I love to use especially after I've had a shower and I just love to spray it all over my body and it's one that I also use as sort of like a pick-me-up as well um, so if I feel a bit sort of drained and um, and down and I just one spritz of it and it really just lifts my mood I absolutely adore it so this one um, <laughs> I've only really just you know, I try to use it sparingly because since it's been discontinued, it's been very, very difficult to get hold of. And uh, I did manage to buy this second bottle from eBay, but ended up having to pay three times the price of the original. But you know what? When you love something, you love something. <laughs> so uh, yeah, this is definitely one of my all-time favorites is the Dior Eau Svelte. Okay, so this next one is from Joe Malone and this one is a limited edition because it's in collaboration with the famous London tailor Huntsman and this particular one is amber and patchouli cologne so it's actually is a unisex fragrance and I like it because it's very deep and musky with um, spicy scents of coriander seeds and woody base notes of amber so it's certainly very sexy probably not one that you would use every day but i think certainly for the winter months it's spicy and deep and um, very sophisticated so this one i like very very much so the fifth one is another classic and this is Coco Chanel or the Parfum and this one is I don't think it really needs any introduction to be honest it's just so incredibly sexy uh, with top notes of coriander mandarin orange peach jasmine 
Bulgarian rose and middle notes containing mimosa, cloves, orange blossom, clover and rose and base notes of uh, amber, sandalwood, tonka bean and vanilla and uh, and much more. So it really is a very deep and sweet fragrance but not sickly sweet. It's just very, very sexy and sophisticated. It smells expensive. You know, when you put it on, immediately you just feel like a million dollars. So this one is definitely one of my all-time favorites. So the next one is, of course, another classic, and that is the Chanel number no. five. Now, I absolutely love also the hair mist, uh, or they call it Le Parfum Cheveau, and it's just really lovely because I actually can spray this all over my hair when I've washed it, and instead of using the perfume. So that's also very, very nice. Now, both of these are the same. It's just this one is the special edition, which they brought out over Christmas, and it comes in this beautiful red bottle and then this is the original classic Chanel number no. five bottle and again you know I really love this fragrance it's so deep and sexy it's sweet and musky with sandalwood patchouli and amber and vanilla but it also has notes of um, floral notes like jasmine and rose and lily of the valley and also there is a, a hint of citrus as well with a Malfi lemon um, and also ylang ylang so it's really a beautiful beautiful fragrance that is so classic and sophisticated and again one spritz of it and you just feel like a million dollars the next one is Guerlain, and this is another classic, the Samsara. And look how beautiful this bottle is. It's just gorgeous. You've got the frosted glass, and look at the cap. Oh, it just looks really opulent. And again, this is a very deep and sexy fragrance, musky and sweet with um, notes of vanilla, uh, tonka bean, amber, and also you've got uh, sandalwood and vanilla, but also different flowers like jasmine and iris and violet and rose. So it's a very sexy fragrance as well. And this is one that I love using during the winter months. So it's beautiful. Okay, so my eighth favorite fragrance comes from the House of Chloe. And this one is the Lagerfeld, Parfum Lagerfeld from Chloe and it's a real classic and this is one that although is actually quite sweet and musky as well but it's not too heavy that you can't wear it every day and in fact I've been wearing, wearing it quite a lot recently. Um, it's got notes of um, peach, lilac, honeysuckle, orange blossom, ylang ylang, coconut, as well as rose, jasmine, sandalwood, amber, musk, etc. It's just, oh, absolutely beautiful. So it's deep and floral and musky and sweet, but at the same time, um, there is, you know, it's one that you can wear every day uh, without you know being too overpowering so the ninth one is another classic and this is dune from dr i really really like the bottle which i think is so cute and this is described as the ocean meets a bouquet of uh, flowers and i think it really is just that you know when you put it on you can really smell the freshness of the sea breeze mixed with the sweetness of flowers and um, it's very sensual uh, very sexy and um, also you know quite light and but also sophisticated and it's one that you can wear every day as well without 
it sort of overpowering um, everything else and uh, yeah it's just a very lovely classic fragrance so number 10 are two fragrances that I purchased from the perfume factory in Ez which is a town very close to Nice in the south of France and it's a factory called Fregonard and I was very fortunate to have um, taken a, a day trip there when I went on holiday to uh, Nice and Monaco and Monte Carlo and it was a real eye-opener going to this massive perfume factory. In fact there are three in France, there's one in Grasse and one in Paris and the one that I went to uh, here where I purchased these from was in uh, Ez. And it's absolutely massive and they show you the process of perfume making and in fact a lot of the the famous um, names were actually sort of made in that factory as well and these two I purchased uh, from the the factory they are absolutely stunning they're both very very beautiful fragrances this one is is slightly lighter it's more floral and fruity and this one is um, definitely more musky and sweet uh, and uh, sexy <laughs> definitely so uh, these two I absolutely adore as well and that's it thank you so much to Sabina for tagging me now I will of course tag some ladies in the description box below now Yvette <laughs> I'm going to miss out your name because I don't want to put pressure on you because I know that you don't wear perfume. But for everyone else who would like to do this tag, please feel free to do so. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please give me a big thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing to see what else I get up to. And of course, don't forget to ring that bell so that every time I have a new upload, you will receive instant notification. So until next time, take care and don't forget to smile. Bye bye.